Welcome to the University of Northampton Popular Music Podcast. Hi there, my name is Dr. Stace Constantino. I'm a senior lecturer and the programme leader for popular music at the University of Northampton. And hello, my name is Michael W. Bell, and I'm also a lecturer at the University of Northampton, and I specialise in music production. What musical events have we this month? Well, June is not nearly as busy as May for our students. Most of our students have finished now and are enjoying their summer holiday. But for the lecturers, we've got quite a lot on still. Uh, we've got all our marking to do, send off all the marks to the exam boards. And on the 15th of June, we have a massive event at the university called STEAM, whereby we invite thousands of students from across the local region to come to our university and experience university life for a day. And we have a, a strong music presence there all day. The day after, on the 16th, I'll be at Northampton College or just in students there for the Northampton Music Festival, and I'll talk more about that in another podcast. On the 19th, we have a two-day staff development session, which I'm really looking forward to. And then finally, the last big event in June is our 22nd of June Open Day, which is a Thursday this year, um, rather than our usual Saturday. So if you're a prospective student and you haven't yet seen our wonderful facilities and campuses, please do pay us a visit. We'll be happy to welcome you. Student interview. This is where we talk to one of our popular music students and ask them a little bit about themselves and what their hopes and inspirations are. I am Freddie Rokes and I am a second year popular music student at the University of Northampton. My main interests really are performing and songwriting and if I could get those two together in a capacity which I'm working on, that would be fantastic. But my interests span from house music and DJing all the way to the marketing side. Right now I'm at the very beginnings of a project um, which will hopefully finish up in a pop, sort of synth pop style um, EP as part of my final project for next year and I'm sort of just visualising in my head what that might look like now and hopefully starting to take the first steps as soon as I can. I'm not amazing with gear yet and I'd love to get better and I am getting better um, but definitely the Nord Key Stage, I think they're on the Nord Key Stage 4 now but whichever the latest one is, they're all that entire series of pianos looks fantastic and they have a beautiful sound and they have so many settings to, to muck about with and I, I'm bang into mucking around with all the settings and sounds you can get on pianos so that's that's right up my street. I mean, my dream is to have some form of career where I'm performing. And if that could be my own material, that's unbelievable. The last song I listened to is a song called Close To You, and it's by Dayglow, who is an American synth pop artist. And I was watching a YouTube video um, on his channel about how he uh, composed all the synths and the vocal chains, and he sort of broke down the entire track on his Logic project, which I found fascinating. And he's one of my inspirations in the sort of poppy synth pop world. And so any any chance I have to sort of pick his brains through the form of YouTube is, is fantastic. So that's a very good song. I'd encourage you to listen if you, uh, if you have a spare minute. So Stace, what have you learnt this month? I've been researching and thinking about creativity and I've been using a book called Creativity, The Psychology of Discovery and Invention by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. And what the author says, I find counterintuitive and a bit strange, but I've decided to embrace this challenge to my way of thinking. And here's what he says, that creativity is observed only when there's an interrelation between three main parts. One, the domain. The symbolic rules, the culture, and the procedures of a particular thing, say mathematics, music, psychology, something like this. And two, there needs to be a field, um, which is all the gatekeepers to the domain for music, say that's teachers, creators of musical events, record labels, radio programs, playlists, increasingly play an important part, the music critics, 
administrators of foundations and uh, various organizations, government agencies, and also the market, of course. And three, the individual person. When a person uses the symbols of a given domain, such as music, has a, an idea or sees a new pattern, and when there's novelty in this pattern, and the appropriate field accepts that this is a thing, then you have creativity. Discussion Forum. This is the part of the podcast where we find a music topic to discuss. So Stace, that was a really good, um, it was interesting to hear you talk about creativity. I think Mm -hmm. it's definitely an area that um, in some ways gets neglected. We focus a lot on playing our instruments, but what it actually means to be creative is a is a really kind of interesting uh, subject. There's just one thing mm-hmm. I wanted to backtrack on um, when you you said that you found you found the concepts to be sort of counterintuitive. Can you elaborate mm-hmm. on that a little bit? I guess I thought of creativity as being some just something an individual does, or or maybe you do it as, as a group of people, like in a band. I hadn't thought about it in terms of there's a domain which is the thing that you're doing, which has a, an established set of rules and ways of being, and then you have a field which is the people who monitor that field and decide what is and what isn't novel. Yes, I suppose it's considering how the piece of music actually functions within society and what what gives it meaning. It's not just the artist, it's the it's the you know the whole surrounding context outside of the work being created. What what its actual function is. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. If you found it enjoyable or interesting, Please like and subscribe and even leave a comment down below if you like.